I'm going to do a book review of Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalaz. Let's just say I was not expecting much from this book. I thought this book was going to be awful. I thought I was going to hate it. I didn't even want to take this book out of the library just because, look at the embarrassing. I know librarians aren't supposed to comment on your book selection, but we all know that they're internally judging. I thought I was going to hate it, and then everyone on YouTube who I respect and love said that they love it. So then my expectations went up again. So it's hard to say where my expectations were when I went into it. I liked it a lot more than I was expecting to. I will say that. I did like it very much. Unfortunately, even though I liked the book and it was very engaging, very interesting, very romantic, very... It was just good. It was also cheesy. I thought it was really cheesy. There's just certain lines in it where I was like, come on, where I couldn't get past it. Like, it was close for me to just be like, read right through it, read right past it. But there's some stuff I just couldn't get past. Oh, that sounds brutal. I don't want to be rude. These people love this book. Let me just read a let, let me just read an excerpt. Let me read an excerpt of goodness. Okay, she's wearing a yellow bikini, okay? She was wearing a yellow bikini and he saw her in the yellow bikini and he thought, does she realize she looks like a sunflower ready to rain sunshine on all who look down upon her? That is a direct quote from page 270. Okay, that is cheesy. I'm sorry. Teenagers don't say stuff like that. They don't think stuff like that. Maybe they do. I don't know. I have never seen somebody in a bathing suit and thought that they were raining sun down on other people. Now, having said the cheesiness factor is there, I still really like this book. My sister liked this book, right? I did, but did it was like embarrassing. It was read. embarrassing to read, but it doesn't matter. You liked it. Okay. And how it. fast did you read it? I read it really fast. In like one day, right? Yes. Maybe a day and a half. I read it in a day and a half, okay? Obviously, I was interested. I wanted to know what was going to happen with the characters. I liked the characters. I was rooting for both of them. I was like, woohoo, good job, characters. I didn't say it like that. But, uh, yeah, I really wanted the characters to, you know, get together. Obviously, it's a romance. Like, look at it. It's a romance. So I'm not giving anything away by saying that. I liked the side characters. I liked Issa. I liked Paco. I liked, I liked all the side characters. Even her friends. Some of her friendships were more complicated. But I had all the emotions I was supposed to have, I think. Simone Alcalas did a really good job of, like, pulling at your heartstrings when needed to, making you angry when you needed to be just everything. I was right along for the ride, the whole book. It was super fast. Like I said, a day and a half. Bam, 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 bam. I went right through it. I will definitely read the sequel, so that's good. That, that obviously, it's good enough that I'm curious to read what the sequel... I don't even know, is it really a sequel, or is it just, like, a companion book about different people? I don't know if it's about them or not. I was curious to see what would happen at the end. And the whole twist and wrister with, like, what happened with his dad, that part was interesting. Don't you think that was interesting? That was interesting. Did, I didn't know that was going to happen. It's definitely a romance, so if you're not into romance, then don't read it. Like, that's the thing. It's, I'm not usually, like, romance, but if you are, like, I hate romance, it's, like, that's the main premise of this book, so that's another thing that you should know going into it. So I'm going to give this book an 8 out of 10, uh, because if I was, like, a 5 star raider person, I would give it 4 out of 5. So I'm thinking 8 out of 10 is what I'm going to give it, but that's my personal opinion. So I hope people aren't mad. Well, they can't be mad because I still gave it 8 out of 10. I liked it. And I'm glad people forced me to read it. So thank you. I will eat my words. I am glad that you guys were like, read it, read it, read it. It was good. And I'll totally read the sequel and probably read whatever else she has to offer because it's just, it was great to an escape book. That's my review. And the next book that I'm going to be reviewing is The Bermuda's Triangle by Maureen Johnson. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So, if you haven't seen the cover to the sequel of this book, it's like water bursting everywhere, fireworks kissing.